Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Shu. In today's video, I want to share with you the best five features to know about when you're getting started using Ampunoid as a replacement for Todoist or whatever app you're using for task management. I've been a huge fan of Ampunoid for more than a year because it makes it so easy to capture your ideas and then turn them into action, which is what they call the idea execution funnel. I strongly believe in this concept and it really helps me take action on the ideas I had rather than just sitting and contemplating about them. Plus their development speed is really fast and they are shipping out new features very often. So it keeps me excited to see how quickly it's becoming a better tool day by day. Anyway, let's just dive in. For me, the most exciting feature of Ampunoid that helped me become more organized is Task Score, which is an algorithm that uses the Eisenhower matrix to sort your to-do list automatically. So let's start by showing how you can take advantage of what might be Ampunoid's single most powerful feature for to-do list. If you're into productivity hacks, you've probably heard of the Eisenhower matrix. It's a useful tool to organize your tasks and identify your priorities by labeling tasks important and or urgent. On top of this, Ampunoid considers when the task is due and how long it takes to get it done. Based on these factors, it calculates a task score for each task, which you can see from the task detail menu. So let's see how it works. If you label this task as important by pressing Ctrl I, it will bump up the task score a little. If you label it as urgent by pressing Ctrl U, the task score gets much higher. Then it will gradually increase depending on how many days the task has been seen. Thanks to this algorithm, you can always see the tasks you should be working on at the top of your to-do list. To me, this is one of the reasons why I use Ampunoid rather than other to-do apps. But this doesn't mean you have to label every task because most of them are neither important nor urgent. So you can just capture them to your daily note or the inbox page without doing anything else. But occasionally when you get tasks that are indeed important or urgent, you want to apply the labels so you can allow Ampunoid to sort your tasks more effectively. All right, my second tip for getting the best out of Ampunoid is to tidy up your task list. As you capture your thoughts and to-dos, including useful ones and garbage ones, your to-do list gets crowded and too long. This can be a little discouraging and overwhelming, so in order to avoid that, there are a few tricks you can use. The most useful one is to use the hide command. You can do this by clicking this eye icon in the taskbar and choose how long you want it to hide it for or you can type exclamation mark hide as you are making a task. Then enter how many days you want to hide it. By hiding tasks that are not important or not actionable yet, you can tidy up your task list, which makes it much easier to focus on the important ones. Alternatively, you can make a note called maybe or someday and then move some tasks that you want to revisit later. You can do this by typing exclamation mark move and choose the note you want it to move. This way, you can see all of these type of tasks in one place. Then in the task mode, you can shift click the maybe nodes to exclude the tasks from the list. One of my most favorite things about Ampunoid is its mobile app. Most note-taking apps tend to sort of overlook mobile version, but Ampunoid has one of the best ones. Especially how quickly it opens is very impressive. It literally takes less than two seconds for it to load and become ready for you to start writing. This is a few milliseconds behind Bear, which has the fastest loading time. And when it comes to how long it takes to open the app and create a task, Ampunoid is the fastest. This makes Ampunoid perfect for quick capture of your thoughts and tasks. Whenever you thought of something you have to do, you can open Ampunoid and write it down in the quick taskbar at the bottom. This is optional, but you can also choose which note you want to add your task to. For this, I recommend choosing the daily note for the day because that's where you can dump everything. Alternatively, you can create a page called Inbox and then choose the page as the destination for your tasks. Then you can sort your tasks in the Inbox page later. Either way works fine, just depends on your preference. Alright, another use case for Ampunoid I like is for building habits. The way I like to do it is to start by creating a new note for the habit I want to build. The title would be the outcome you expect. So let's say I want to become fluent in Spanish, which is actually I do. 
Ideally, you want it to be specific, but I'm not sure how to translate this into a specific goal. Um, anyway, inside the note, I like to brainstorm how I can achieve the goal and break it down into small steps and habits. For example, I can say learn two new words a day and have conversations in Spanish with Tanya every Sunday. Since these are something you want to do regularly, you want to turn them into a recurring task. You can do this by going to the task detail menu, choose how frequently you want it to occur. If it's a daily habit, you set it to repeat every day. If it's a weekly habit, you can choose every week. This way, it shows up in your task list regularly, as well as your calendar, so you won't forget about them. Finally, Ampunot is an excellent tool for planning your day. There are different ways of doing it, but my favorite way is to use the daily note. First of all, you want to write down a few things you want to get done today. Make sure to include a few small tasks that you enjoy doing, like reading a few pages of a book you like, or doing yoga, so that your to-do list isn't full of big tasks that suck your willpower. Once you've made your today's list, you can head to the calendar mode and filter the task list by the daily note. This way, you can see the only tasks you want to work on today. Then, start making your schedule by drag and dropping the tasks into your calendar. Personally, I like to do a few fun tasks first thing in the morning to build a sort of momentum and then work on the most important task of the day. Also, you can drag a few overdue tasks from your aggregated list. Under just a few minutes, you have a solid schedule for the day. You can keep it by the corner of your monitor so you can always see it, or you can check it from your mobile wherever you are. Alright, these are the five productivity features that helped me get so much more done since I started using Ampunode. Like I said, I've been a huge fan of Ampunode for a long time, and I think it's hugely underrated. So I'm planning to make more videos about it so more people can get to know this tool. If you like this video, please let me know what other use cases or features you'd like to learn more about in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!